Hi and welcome to the study guide for Math 7 and uh, the midterm study guide. I'll get started here. Number one, Steve and Diane bought a box of candles. Steve ate one third of the candies of the box and Diane ate one fourth of the candies in the box. What is the total fraction of candies do they eat together? Well, when they eat all together, you got to add one third and one fourth together. So you got one third plus one fourth. You need a common denominator. And uh, you could just multiply three and four. That common denominator would be 12 because three times four is 12. Now, three goes into 12 four times. So you multiply one times four and you get four. And four goes into 12 4 goes into 12 3 times, so you multiply 1 times 3, and that would be 3. And then you add 4 plus 3, and that is tw uh, 7. 7 twelfths. That's it. This one right here. Simplifying the expression. Expression is a bunch of stuff here without an equal sign. So we have to follow the order of operations. Parentheses, exponents, multiply or divide from left to right and then add or subtract from left to right. So parentheses, there are parentheses here but there's nothing to do in the parentheses. Um, and really these parentheses are here just to separate uh, 5 and negative 4 to tell you that that's 5 times negative 4. So parentheses done, exponents, there are no exponents, we multiply uh, let's see 5 times negative 4. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20 and I'll just write down the rest. Negative 10 minus 20 minus 18. Negative 10 minus 20, that is negative 30. And then negative 30 minus 18 is negative 48. All right, uh, simplifying this one. Again, with the order of operations, that PEMDAS, P-E-M-D-A-S. And we do have parentheses here, but that is just to separate negative 3 from the operation of subtraction. And that's 2 times negative 4. So I'm going to multiply first because that's what's first on here. And 2 times negative, 2 times 4 is 8. So it's that. 12 minus negative 3 minus 8. Ah, positive peanut can happen right here. A little peanut in there. Positive 12 plus 3 is 15 minus 8. That is my hand's covering the whole thing. So that's 12 plus 3 is 15, and 15 minus 8 is 7. Next, more. Now, we have a variable here, and so we can't combine these together here uh, in these parentheses. Nothing to do. So we have to distribute the 3 times the x and the 3 times the 5. 3 times x is 3x. And minus 3 times 5 is 15, and I have 12, here's a plus right there, and minus 4x. I'm going to combine my variable terms. We have 3x minus 4x, and 3x minus, 3 minus 4 is negative 1, so that's negative 1x. And then I have the 12 minus 15, 12 minus 15 is negative 3, I'll write that as minus 3. And I don't need the 1 right there. I could just write this as negative x minus 3. Number 5. Uh, well, just like this one, I can't combine the x and the 5 here. So I have to distribute the 2. And in fact, what I should do is I should see this as a negative 2. That's going to make things a little bit easier. Uh, and if you can't notice, if, you, if you're thinking, if you're stuck on, well, that's subtraction. Okay, fine. Subtraction is the same thing as adding its opposite. So adding the opposite of 2 is negative 2. And so we can see that we're distributing a negative 2. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And negative 2 times 10 is uh, Negative two times pausing because I'm I got that minus right there. So that there is a minus right there, and negative two times ten is negative twenty. And then I have plus three x there, and I have eight x. Okay. And 
I will combine my um, variable terms. It looks like I have three of them. 8 minus 2, 8x minus 2x, that is 6x. So right there, there that's 6x. And then 6x plus 3x is 9x. So I'll write, oops, 9x. So that's 9x. And then uh, minus negative 20. And again, that happens to be a positive peanut right there. You can make a peanut, and then everything inside of it is positive. So that's really 9x plus 20. Okay. And that is the simplified expression. Find the unit rate. The unit rate means you make a rate uh, with a 1 for a denominator. So we have 16.80 divided by 6. So we hit how much money per box of cereal. And let's see. I got a calculator here. I'm just going to bust this out and do it with the calculator. Oh, I'll get another one here. And here's my calculator. So I have, what is it, 16.80 divided, 16.8, 16.8 divided by 6 is 2.8. So that 2.8 means you have $2.80. That's the unit rate. That's the cost for one box of cereal. That's what the unit rate means. Chess club. Uh, has 20 members and 14 are girls. What is the ratio of boys to girls in the club? So there are 14 girls, ratio of boys to girls. So if there's 14 girls, that means there's uh, uh, six boys because 20 minus 14 is six. So six boys to 14. What's the ratio of boys to girls? There it is. Six boys to 14 girls. We could simplify this probably. Take half of both of these. And we have uh, three boys to seven girls. We could also write this as three to seven as a fraction. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Okay. Number eight. Uh, two thirds cups of raisins are mixed with one half cup of peanuts. What is the ratio of raisins to peanuts? Raisins to peanuts. Okay. Uh, Raisins to peanuts. So two thirds, two, one half. And that and that right there is division. So it's a uh, two thirds divided by one half. And when we divide fractions, we flip the second fraction and we multiply them. So that is two thirds times two over one. And then we can multiply across. Two times two is four, and three times one is three, and we have four thirds. Ratio of raisins to peanuts, so four thirds. Okay, solving this is a two step equation. The first step is we're going to get rid of the minus 14 by adding 14. And we have 2x. That's This is zero. Uh, I guess I could write plus zero. And then negative, four, negative 22 plus 14, these are different signs. You have to subtract them. Uh, well, this is, that's going to be 8, I believe. And there's no more negatives than positives, so it's going to be negative 8. I'll clean this up a little bit. And we have 2x equals negative 8. Finally, I'm going to divide both sides by 2. Because I'm multiplying by 2, I have to use that inverse operation of dividing by 2. These cancel. And... Uh, I get x equals negative 8 divided by 2 is negative 4. Okay, we have a back side. Solve the following equation. Okay, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine my like terms. I have 5x minus 3x. That means I have 2x. And then I have, oh, negative 2 plus 8. Negative 2 plus 8 is uh, 6. Positive 6. And then there's 10. Hey, I can do this now. Uh, I would use inverse operations again. The inverse of adding 6 is subtracting 6. And I have 2x equals uh, 4. And since that's multiplication, I have to divide by 2 and x equals 4 divided by 2, which is 2. Okay. 
Let's do this one. Three less than a number is negative 18. Find that number. Three less than a number. So you write like this. Three less than some number, I guess I'll call it n, is, is equals negative 18. And then I just add three to both sides. And I get n uh, plus zero, right? Because we're trying to do that. And n plus zero is just n uh, equals, you have to subtract these because they're different signs and there's more negatives than positives. So it's negative 15. So I mean this equation here, we have, uh, we can combine these like terms, uh, 8x minus 6x is 2x. And then 2 minus 12 is negative 10 equals 24. Okay, yeah, add 10. Add 10 to both sides and you have 2x equals uh, 24 plus 10, that is 34. Finally, since you're multiplying here, you have to divide by 2. And x equals 34 divided by 2 is 17. This one. Uh, we have 3 times this whole thing. Now, there's two ways I could do this. I, I prefer to just divide both sides by 3. If I divide this side by 3, these threes can cancel because that's three times everything in that parentheses. And I have to divide this side by three as well. So I have x minus six equals 18 divided by three is six. And then the last step is to add six to both sides. And I have x equals 12. Okay. Next, solving this one here. I hmm, I think that what I have to do is I have to distribute the 3. Distributing means you're multiplying everything by 3 in that parentheses. So 3 times x is 3x minus 3 times 2 is 6. And then I'll subtract x and that equals 12. Okay, I can now subtract these. 3x minus an x is 2x minus 6 equals 12 and then I go into the same thing that I was doing up ahead here I will um, add 6 to both sides 2x equals uh, what 18 I gotta bring this over here 2x equals 18 I have to now divide both sides by 2 and x equals 9 okay this one um, I probably what I would do is to solve this I would cross multiply 6 times 5 is 30 and then you divide by 25 I can simplify this I can divide them both by 5 30 divided by 5 is 6 and 25 divided by 5 is uh, 5 boom I call it six fifths, or I guess if you want to, five goes into six one time with one left over, uh, one and one fifth. Okay, this one. Solve the following equation. Uh, we have this. So first, I would subtract ten from both sides. 5x equals, these are the same sign, I'm going to add them up, and uh, that's going to be negative 25, and then uh, I have, I divide both sides by 5, and x equals negative 5, and then I have this one, another proportion one, I will cross multiply, 9 times 5 is 45, and then I'll divide it by 2. Let's see. I, I would. I have no problem leaving it like this. Or uh, what? Two goes into four two times. Two goes into five two times with one left over. That's twenty-two and a half. You could go either way. Okay. The unit rate. All you got to do for this. So what is the constant rate of proportionality, which is also known as the unit rate for this chart? All you got to do is you could just take any of these here and divide them. But you have to do the 
uh, the miles divided by the hours. So you have 15 divided by 4. Um, I guess that would be it. Or 4 goes into 15 three times with 3 left over. You could write it like this. And the same thing with this. Uh, let's see. I guess I would just do 20 divided by 1.6. 20 divided by 1.6. Let's throw out the calculator here. See what that says. Uh, 20 divided by 1.6 is 12.5. And that is the unit rate. And that's all you got to know for this midterm. Good luck on studying for this. And thanks for watching.